What's good? I am Matty Ice, and these are my top five reasons to get off social media. So for those of you who don't know, I am a very against social media and its negative effects. I'm probably like one of the biggest anti-social media people you may ever meet. Um, I, I do internet marketing for a living. Um, I do it nine to five, five days a week. Uh, or I'm sorry. Yeah, five days a week. Uh, like eight hours a day. So I know a lot about social media marketing. I know I've been master that. I've been known about that. Uh, I know tons about internet marketing. So like I'm up there with internet marketing. Um, so I know about social media, trust me. And I'm also a sociologist. I, I have a sociology degree and I study behavioral science. I've been studying behavioral science for several years now, post uh, college. Right. So I know a lot about social, like social skills. I know a lot about behavioral science, you know, uh, psychology. I know a lot about that. So this isn't just like me ranting for no reason. This is like literally all the knowledge I've accrued and how I feel about the situation. And yeah, I, I truly believe it has negative effects for most individuals, most all individuals. Uh, I think it's destroyed society socially. I really do. Ironically, it's called social media. Um, and I, I, ever since I've quit social media, I've been so much happier. I felt so much more confident. I've just been so much better. I've been made much better financial decisions. I've been so much more successful. Like, and that is why I am going back in the fire and trying to get people out. Um, and I really hope, I hope help some individuals now because you know this is your life and i don't want it to get any worse you know i like i don't <laughs> trust me like but the, the good thing about this is when you quit it'll take like one or two months and you'll start to feel the effects immediately you really start to feel the effects but again these are my top five reasons to get off social media starting with number one okay the negativity so why do people often and this is sad, but why do people in high school often get very depressed that get bullied or why do they commit suicide some, you know, why? Because of negative comments in real life, negative comments from other people. Um, I'm pretty sure most people that commit suicide, you know, that are sad, that are depressed based on high school bullying. I'm pretty sure the bullies aren't telling them that they look great today or that they love them. You know, um, social media, what it does is it opens a whole nother world of negative comments. And I always say people behind the keyboard, they get very brave and they would never say most, if not all of this stuff in person. OK, I will say this in person. Pr trust me. Come come see me. I'll say this in person. But most people, they they might be going through something and then spew it out on you. It's a very dangerous world. You're dealing with anonymous people telling you negative things. One negative comment I feel like in a day is enough. In my day-to-day -day life, I experience almost zero negativity. Zero. That's why I'm so up right now. I have experienced almost zero negativity. Like, I'm telling you, like zero. And that's how it was before social media. That's, I'm telling you. And I will say, I think social media might have brought this negativity to my attention. I started cutting off other real world things that brought off negativity too. But um, social media is a huge factor in negativity. I know because I've, I have a YouTube channel that has 12K subs. Not this one, obviously. But um, Lorenzo, I'm, what do you want? No. Oh, gosh. Oh, my child just walked in. I don't even remember what I was talking about. Okay, so... Yeah. Negativity is too much. Cut it out your life. I know most celebrities, they don't read negative comments at all. And like I was saying, yeah, I have a channel with 12K subs and obviously not this one. I get like 20, 30 comments a day, right? Most of them will be positive. Yeah. Like probably 80, 90% of them. But then like every now and again, you just get some weird com negative comment and you'll feel it. I'll literally feel the negativity. I'll be like, really? Like, whoa. And it'll actually bother me for like maybe like five, 10 minutes, maybe even longer. Maybe even longer. I might, there's might be future decisions I make based on that experience. And that's not how it should be. I, I, I think negative comments can deter a lot of people from doing things that they should be doing. 
Um, sometimes it deters people from doing things they shouldn't be doing. So negative negativity can almost like almost not be bad all the time, but like it can really discourage you as a person. Like, for example, say you trying to start do something, you post your music on social media or whatever. It's like two likes. That's not very encouraging. Say you post a picture of yourself and you think you look good. You get five likes compared to so-and-so who posted, they get 50. How do you feel now? You know, like you literally feel statistically almost like 95% less. It's like, seriously, this stuff matters. I don't care how tough you think you are. I am one of the most mentally strong people you'll ever meet. I've been through a lot. I've been through a lot. Trust me. You can get to know me. I've been through a lot. Um, I'm as mentally tough as it gets. I'm a behavioral scientist. Like, I know what to block out, not to block out. Bro, the effects of the negativity is, I think, way more than people could even imagine. Like, I, I think it's way more than people even think. I think most people think it has no effect. I think people, most, most 90, whatever percent of people think it has no effect. I think it's tremendously effective. Like, tremendously. Like I said, ever since I stepped out, I've been feeling so much better. Like, it's not even close. Oh my God, I cannot get through this video, can I? <laughs> freaking computer dying freaking child walking in <laughs> <laughs> let's just keep it going can't, can't you can't stop the movement it ain't happening uh okay so this is world of warcraft right this, I, I use this to illustrate the fact that social media is totally fake and it's just like world of warcraft there is no difference between world of warcraft and social media like you can play with your friends None of it is real. It's all digital. I think World of Warcraft is more fun because at least we get to like actually do something. I think World of Warcraft is more positive. Like I, I can't remember a n truly negative experience playing World of Warcraft. I mean, it's a video game, you know? Most video games don't leave you with a personal negative experience. Instagram is like, a, is like The Sims or World of Warcraft, but... I mean, it's just, there there's really is no but. What is the but? Oh, th these are real people I know. Okay, I've played with real people in World of Warcraft. Everyone on World of Warcraft is a real person. Dude, like, I think World of Warcraft gives you a better chance to compete than Instagram does. I really do. <laughs> I, I really, I truly believe that. Um, yeah, I think in World of Warcraft, you have more of a chance to express yourself <laughs> than you do on Instagram. <laughs> Uh, I just, it's all fake. All of it is fake and all of it is kind of a waste of time. I think at least World of Warcraft, you probably, I have better experiences, better memories from World of Warcraft than I do Instagram. Like, but yeah, it's this Instagram is wow. And I call it the kiddie pool. Everybody that's still online, that's still doing the social media, I call it the kiddie pool. And when you're ready to step out the kiddie pool, let me know. This World of Warcraft is kind of the kiddie pool to me too. It's just... It's childish. It's like not real. It's just fake. None of it's real. I think we're actually, like I said, I have more respect for World of Warcraft than I do Instagram. Uh, a lot, a lot more respect, actually. Oh, yeah. How could we forget that so many people lose their jobs over social media? I think most recently, Ja Morant, he, um, hold on a second. My gosh, so many distractions. And we'll talk about that too, ironic, ironically. Um, so yeah, looking for a job. I, most recently, I saw, I saw a job Morant post on a gun on social media, right? Him holding a gun. And he got suspended for two days. Okay. I've heard a lot of people get loser jobs over Twitter posts. I've heard a lot of people lose their job over social media. A lot of people. I haven't heard. What I haven't heard is a whole lot of people get jobs from social media. Haven't heard that. So, uh, unless we're talking LinkedIn, but, you know, um, I'm really not even talking about, although I kind of am. There's certain aspects of every social media that I don't like, mostly the comments and replies, mostly that. Um, but anyways, yeah, you can so easily lose your job. If you have something to lose, I always say, don't be on there. If you are married, don't be on there because women love married guys. I would be out. Uh, <laughs> like... I don't. I would never want to be married and lose my wife over something on social media. Uh, you're gonna have to do something. It has to be something in real life for me to, for, for me, for this not to work. Uh, like seriously, I would. I would be absolutely distraught if something happened and I lost something over social media. That would be just the most ridiculous way to lose something, ever. 
And a lot of you guys have more than you think, and you have a lot more to lose than you think. So, um, yeah. Um, anyways, God, this video is hard to make. <laughs> Lorenzo, I'm recording a vid. Okay, he doesn't care. Okay, it's a total waste of time. Hopefully, you can still hear me. It's a total freaking waste of time. Uh, I got to charge my computer, so I got to keep my computer charged. It's a total freaking waste of time. Um, I just, like, I always say, like, I, I, I'll I spend 15, 20, 30 minutes making a video, and I'll tell people, I'll be like, that's, you probably spent 15, 20, 30 minutes on Instagram today and got absolutely nothing out of it. I'm, like, changing the world. I'm changing the world, or I'm, like, making money that extra time, or, you know, taking care of my family, whatever, uh, dating, whatever. I, I feel like I have more time than most people because I just do not waste my time doing something that doesn't make money or doesn't bring me happiness i just like literally don't waste my time with it so i i honestly think it's a complete waste of time just like video games are a complete waste of time at least video games though typically make you happier because you'll be having fun but this is like i don't know if i'm if it's fun it seems more like a chore when you're like trapped in the loop of social media it's like oh let me check this and check that also, there's one that I didn't mention, and that is the distraction. I, and it kind of reminded me, Lorenzo distracted me and my son. Um, bro, I study organization, too. You're probably like, man, you study everything. Yes, I am I'm deep. Uh, I study, I take a course on organization, where they talk about the effects of distractions, like notifications from your phone, especially. Um, they talk about distractions and what it can do and how it it destroys efficiency or it lessens efficiency. Like, so trust me, those extra distractions are not helpful. Um, they're not helpful at all. And that's why I always say like, I always feel like this is why in this modern generation, we don't have a Jordan and we don't have a Messi or we don't, we especially don't have a Jordan because do social media done took our best stars. Even LeBron is on social media. I feel like too much. If, if LeBron spent all the time on social media instead, like, working on his game bro he'd probably have that be that much better and he's an unbelievable player but like i say that about like almost every athlete is on that level that's why if i played right now i would never be on social media like i would i would take advantage of that time every time but um ingenuity is a big is a big part that's missing i feel like with social media everyone gets freaking glopped in the same vibe and that's that can sometimes be good because i do think social media kind of killed racism everyone kind of got in the same vibe with that it made it seem very uncool but in general i feel like social media destroys ingenuity um because a because of the likes it follows and feedback you get but it just seems like a when i'm on there i can't even really express myself because i'm not i'm always kind of thinking oh is this going to get likes or whatever or da 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 or like is this, is this something I should even post online? I just feel like it's fake. The way I talk offline, the way I talk now, it's not how I would talk on social media. It's just not real. Like, I feel like it absolutely destroys ingenuity, uh, especially business-wise. I think it absolutely destroys ingenuity. Everyone's like, oh, I want to be a YouTuber. I want to be an Instagram model. But these are two careers. Um, I just, I think it absolutely kills ingenuity. Although it brings up different types of ingenuity, but the real world ingenuity, I think it absolutely kills. Okay, so I put this picture to illustrate what the 90s felt like. Because I was blessed to live through the 90s and 2000s. I had a great college. I always tell people, my college life, I think I went to college during the last phase before it started to not be as good. Like, people talk, like how people talk about the 80s and the 70s. And I know people look back at the 80s and 70s like, man, I wish I lived in that era. I'm blessed to have lived right before college got, social media took over college. <clears throat> Man, when I was in college, bro, people weren't on their phones like that. Like, it was like, people had phones, but it was not like, it was not like it is now. Like, people would text, but it was not like it is now. Now it's just like this. <laughs> this is society right now. This is society in a nutshell. This is society in a nutshell. Yep. And I feel like I'm that guy. <laughs> One normal looking guy. <laughs> I'm like the freak in this picture. That's me. This is the 90s, bro. When I when I grew up, man, friends hanged out every day. We were not on phones. We were just either watching TV, playing video games, or playing sports. Nowadays, dude, kids do not play sports. I, I never see kids outside. Yada, yada, yada. 
Okay, and this is the last thing, and I'll talk deeply about social skills because um, this is probably the biggest point. And thank you for sticking with me through the video, but this is probably the biggest point that I could possibly bring out, and that is how it destroys social skills. Um, this was identified by very well. I'm not. I'm actually sure who this is. Uh, I just got this off of Google. But um, <clears throat> these are seven important social skills for kids. And I, I looked at this and I was like, yeah, this is all stuff that you can't do on social media. Sharing, cooperating, listening, following directions. Like this is stuff that you just don't really do. Respecting personal space, making eye contact, using manners. This is all stuff that like just doesn't come about in social media. Um, this image aside, because I didn't even think about this till like today. Like, basically, social skills, uh, trust me, I, I study social skills, dude. I, I do. I'm a behavior scientist. I'm a sociologist. I know all about this. Um, all about this. And I for sure think it kills it. I, I My theory is this, that every conversation you have online is one less that you have in real life. We all just change mediums, you know? It's, it's just like when people didn't have horses anymore, then they got cars. It's like the same amount. Same thing with socially, like. If you're talking to, it's less in real life. I'm out. <laughs> like, bro, trust me. Real life is way funnier. People look better in real life. Everything is better in real life. Um, s social media is absolutely destroying social skills. I don't think there's any doubt or I don't even know why anyone would even question me. If we could take a time machine, it would be very obvious. But I can't. I can't do that right now. But I could tell you from firsthand experience, like I said, I've been more social ever since I quit. I've been more confident ever since I quit. Um, I can't believe I was on it in the first place, looking back, to be honest. But yes, I absolutely think it destroys social skills, especially if you're not, like, especially if that's what you use. It depends how much you use it, but absolutely, I think it destroys it. Um, I could go into detail after detail after detail after situation after situation after situation, but it's as simple as you get more reps online and less offline. So that's just all it is. Um, but anyways, that's it for this video, guys. These are my seven reasons, you know, um, and man, I wish I could record this without distraction or whatever, make it cleaner, but like I make low budget videos and, um, I don't want to spend too much time doing this as is. Like, this is already enough time, but I just want to help people. That's the main reason I'm doing this. Like I said, guys, like, if you knew, I always tell my friend, I'm like, I tell people, I'm like, yo, if you knew, if you were 100% sure that social media hurts your social skills, would you still do it? Just like, just like with cigarettes, if you, before people didn't know, if you were 100% sure that social media equals you making less money, would you still use it? That's, that's the question I pose for you. My name is Matty Ice. It's time to get off. Peace out.